Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another what's in your energy spread for you all. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs and any other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. I'm going to be using my anime deck again. I'm very, very much so in love with this deck. So let's see what's going on today, my lovely Virgos. I've already meditated on your energy and I've been shuffling for a couple minutes. So let's see what's going on. Show me what's in Virgo's energy. I keep hearing that song, I'm Coming Home by Leon Bridges. Um, and it says, I'm coming home. You're my one and only woman. So I don't know what's going on. Let's see, let's see. I definitely feel a shift. Do y'all feel a shift? Especially if you're a Libra rising or a Scorpio rising, there's like a huge shift going on for y'all. Um, let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. if this is going to be a love reading loves like i said <clears throat> excuse me this song is called um leon bridges i'm coming home it says baby 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 i'm coming home now to your tender sweet loving you're my one and only woman so i don't know I keep hearing that, and for some reason, I feel like this is going to be a love reading. Now, if I need to clarify, I'm going to use my um, Game of Thrones deck. Is this going to be a love reading? It says no. All right, but I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of love there's a whole lot of cups. We have cups, we have cups, we have cups, we have feelings, cups. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started, my lovelies. Before I continue, y'all know I was missing um, for a little while. Um, I was sick very sick <laughs> i'm feeling so much better so thank you so very much for all your good vibes all the love and support and the healing energies y'all sent me it was much needed appreciated and i can honestly say that it worked <laughs> but <clears throat> i still have a little cough but before i do i was so thankful that one of my subscribers sent me a whole bunch of goodies to help me um it's Premium Jane is the business, and they sent me a whole bunch of CBD bath bombs, um, and they're so good, and they smell so good, and then they sent me, like, a solve for, like, my body aches and stuff, and let me tell y'all, it worked wonders, so I did have COVID. It was, I've had COVID before, but this time really took a toll on me, so if you guys want to, um utilize that or if you know anybody that would like to try it or enjoy it they smell so amazing so go ahead and check them out i'm going to leave the comment of the link of their shop in the first comment below i'm going to pin it for everyone to see so i just wanted to throw that out there make sure y'all are utilizing that if you need it because it truly truly helped me relax and comforted me in a little bit of ways that my medication didn't so <laughs> let's go ahead and get started my lovelies this is your energy this is your surrounding energy this is the mutual most likely outcome or what's to come let's see what's going on your surrounding energy is absolutely on fire virgo so let's see what's going on we have the seven of cups we have the queen of discs in reverse we have the five of wands in reverse and we have the four for some reason i'm getting a lot of past life energy now i thought this was going to be like a past life love but they're telling me it's not going to be love so i don't know i'm getting like something from a past life is coming coming around again 
only coming around in a good way. Now, let me tell y'all before I continue. <clears throat> when I, If you've ordered a past life reading with me, um, I tell y'all that there is, to me, I believe that we continue to have different lives, right? Our past lives, we continue to keep coming back until we live the life we want, okay? I feel like something that wasn't, that you couldn't get right in a past life is about to get right in this life very, very soon. And I have the chills. If you don't believe in that, that's perfectly fine. But that's just my interpretation and my take on it because I'm feeling a whole lot of unresolved business getting resolved right now, okay? Seven of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Five of Wands in Reverse, and the Fool. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here, if I'm being honest. Ooh, I have the chills so freaking bad. Now, let me tell y'all. <clears throat> Look at your north node, okay? Your north node in your birth chart is going to be the traits that you need to embody in this lifetime in order to please your soul. Your south node, and if you've had a past life reading with me um, or birth chart analysis, your south node is the characteristics that we have too much of. So if you are a Leo south node, you are most likely a leo in your past life okay that's the way i interpret it because you have those traits so you have you have you've already mastered those traits okay i and right now with the transits for the south node in scorpio there's a lot of things going on a lot of things being activated and i'm seeing that so strongly loves okay the seven of cups the seven of cups means options it means various it means too many things going on at once it means dreams it means um maybe even some confusion maybe even some some daisiness you know i just heard driving miss daisy <clears throat> there's something about daisy i don't know if that's someone's name or that's significant to someone but i i keep seeing daisy some of you have like a sister or a sister-in-law named daisy oh i got the chills so bad <clears throat> or maybe some of y'all just feel like you've been like daisy like in a daze right that's what this means like really like daisy <laughs> seven of cups means that you feel maybe like you're too emotionally involved in too many things at the moment also or maybe some of y'all have too many fires going on at once you have too many dreams too many passions too many talents <gasps> and for some of y'all it's like I always say this, when I die and I'm no longer here, I don't want to leave with an ounce of talent or knowledge left. I want to use everything that I was given. And I think some of y'all are feeling just that. That goes so perfect with this card, the way I'm feeling. A lot of you have so many things that you want to do, that you want to accomplish, that maybe it's, it's kind of like, where do I start? What do I do? You know? And... I think because you have so many things you want to accomplish, a lot of those things haven't been accomplished in past lives. And let me show you, this is like crazy because look at the queen of discs in reverse. This is my Virgo card. And when it's in reverse, this is sometimes lacking, okay? Sometimes not being on your house, on your home, on your money, on your career, on your finances. This also sometimes means like Virgo, maybe you feel like you've missed out on some opportunities. Quite literally, Virgo, I feel like in past lives many right various lives you weren't able to accomplish all of your dreams you weren't able to accomplish everything that you wanted to and that's why you guys are virgos in this lifetime virgos are busy they're driven they're stable they're motivated they get things done right whether you're Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, whatever it is. You have Virgo in your chart, loves. You guys are very, very um, stability motivated. It doesn't even mean money driven, you know. It's stability motivated. I just heard intuitive. All right. Someone is saying someone's intuitive. Ooh, y'all are about to win. Someone who likes to play chess. Look at look at that. Doesn't that look like chess pieces right there? Someone likes to play chess or someone's about... I just heard checkmate. Ooh, I got the chills. Oh my God, I got the chills so bad. I just heard checkmate. Someone's about to win. 
in the game of chess or the game of life, if you know what I mean. If That's kind of a weird metaphor, but that's what I'm seeing in my head. There's three things in particular that you weren't able to accomplish in past lives. I feel like you've accomplished so much in many other lives, but in these in this lifetime, there's three major things that are finally going to be collected under your belt, like another notch in your belt, Virgo. That's what you're aiming for. That's what you want. And in past lives, it maybe slipped through your fingers or maybe there wasn't enough time to get it all done, all right? And maybe that's why some of y'all are workaholics in this lifetime because you want to get it done. <clears throat> The five of wands in reverse. This is wands are always feelings and their actions, okay? The fight is almost over. The struggle is almost over. You won't have to fight that hard anymore moving forward for whatever three things that you've been trying to accomplish. Three, and look, there's three, which is strange because this is a five card, right? But there's three things that you've been fighting for. Three things that you want under your name, under your belt. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> there's something about a grasshopper or the number seven. I'm seeing seven, seven, seven on the wrist. Look at seven, seven, seven. Y'all know what that angel number 777 means. It means your angels are near completion, manifestation, wish fulfillment. And we have the seven of cups. This is conflict. This is drama. This is fighting. This is struggle. This is obstacles. And when it's in reverse, my lovelies, that's all being removed. It's not going to be that hard moving forward to obtain whatever it is you've been trying to grab for yourself. And look, the fool. Oh my goodness, I have the chills so freaking bad. The fool. Taking a leap of faith, trusting in the divine, trusting in the universe, trusting that it's already yours. Some of you are master manifestors if you have every element in your in your chart fire water air earth you are a master manifester all right and some of you know it it's just a matter of finding your way that you manifest all right some of you have vision boards some of you speak it into existence some of you do the moon water some of you do the candles some of y'all do sex magic right or the sex manifestation it just depends on what works for you some of you li quite literally write it down and burn it a lot of you manifest different ways depending on what works for you but you can manifest it doesn't it look like they're thinking really hard already knowing that it's coming right look at the hands like i'm holding on because i know it's already mine trusting in the divine spirit or spirit guides or spirit teams behind you and knowing it's about to explode into your energy the fool is about taking a leap of faith trusting in the universe and liberating yourself being free i just heard like baseball or softball or pitcher i don't know what that means Maybe you're ready to catch a home run. <gasps> oh my goodness, I got the chills so bad. Oh, I got the chills. Remember the last reading where I kept, the last three readings have been talking about a belt, a purple belt. Do y'all remember that? And last reading, I said, oh, we figured it out, right? It's about putting on your seatbelt. Look at that. A purple belt putting on your seatbelt and it looks more so like a harness right because you're about to be pulled purple i believe some of my subscribers tell me purple means royalty in the spiritual realm or or prosperous your seatbelt is on and you're about to be like spun right like spun into the future spun into your future into your dreams I definitely feel like this is someone's spirit team, angel, or spirit animal. I'm seeing something about a rifle. I don't know if some of y'all like to hunt 
Or if there's something about like a pergola outside where y'all like to sit and ground yourself or meditate. Doesn't that look, look at the board behind it. Oh my gosh, I love this deck so much. Look at this board behind this. Doesn't it look like a chess board or a checkerboard? You, and didn't I say over here, someone's about to, to win. Checkmate. I feel like something is really coming full circle for you in this lifetime. Look at that. Oh my goodness, Virgo. There's something, ooh, sorry. There's something about <clears throat> bloody knuckles. Broken knuckles or bloody knuckles or maybe just blisters or calluses. Maybe some of y'all been working out. Oh. Some of y'all have been having like a weird sense of smell. A weird sense of smell or something like that. Look at that. You guys can feel or some of you can just feel the energy shifts in the air. Do you guys see that aroma or the energy? Doesn't it look like, all right, you thought we were going fast? Put on your seatbelt. Shoom. You know, they're about to skyrocket you and twirl you into the, <laughs> the good parts of your lives, Virgo. Let's see. Over here in your current energy, my left palm is really, really itchy. It itches right here. I don't know why. I don't know if that's gaining money or losing money or something. I don't know. But speaking of, I still have some of my money sprays available for anybody. It's still in my Etsy shop. Um, I still have a few left if you guys want it. And if you guys already have purchased it, I do check up on you to make sure it's working for you, okay? So I know there's quite a few of you. Um, I do ask my cards, is it working for so-and-so? Is it working for so-and-so? <laughs> um, so just know I do check up on you, okay? I don't just say, hey, go fend for yourself. <laughs> but all right, Virgo, it's over here in your energy. You have the hermit. You have the high priestess in reverse. You have the seven of swords in reverse and the chariot. I feel so strongly, Virgo. You're about to be blessed in some Ooh, someone's eating a torta. <laughs> I don't know why I saw it right there, Torah, but I feel... Every time I see this card, I think of the girl from Hocus Pocus, Thora, right? The little girl from Hocus Pocus, and I don't know why. If someone's named Thora, if someone's watching Hocus Pocus, or... And it's crazy because the high priestess can sometimes mean a witch or magic. Um, I think some of you have a lot of energetic powers that y'all don't even know about that's so crazy because i was telling my kid the other day there's what six billion people in the world how does no one have powers right <laughs> but we do you all do virgo i believe some of y'all are, are more powerful than you know with the hermit here this is my virgo card my virgo card my virgo card Like I said, I feel some of you feel like not so much at the end of your rope, not so much at your wit's end, but I feel like some of you felt like maybe there's some things that you feel like you're, you're missing out on or have missed out on, right? Or some of you feel like your, your future is still a little bit unknown. Doesn't that look like a question mark? Maybe you feel like it's still a little unknown or you don't really know what the future holds for you or you don't know if you're going to be able to complete everything that you want to complete. I don't know if somebody is crying. I didn't think I spilled my money spray, but it's wet. I don't know if somebody has tears or something. Um, I don't know. I just keep hearing it's raining greens because my money spray is, spray is green. And when I went like that, my fingers were green. And it fell all over my card. I didn't think I spilled it. I'm going to go back and make sure I can see I spilled it because sometimes. All right, loves. I was doing personal reads the other day and there was a whole lot of paranormal activity. You can even see it on the camera. And ever since then, I've been hella spooked. <laughs> so I don't know if some... I think some of y'all are going to be very, very prosperous very soon. 
or some of y'all are planting, look, a green thumb. That is so weird to me. I'm going to go back and make sure I didn't spill it in the camera just to make sure because, or maybe I did, I don't know. But I feel like there's just so much prosperity coming. Let's see what the cards mean and then we'll figure it out. With the Hermit here, I feel like some of you feel like maybe you don't know if you're going to be able to go towards things that you've been wanting to go to, right? A lot of things still feel like they haven't been unraveled for you, Virgo. You see that? But look, there's an energy shifting. There's a new aroma. There's a new feeling in the air. There's a new vibe around you. Look, a lot of things that you've been kind of... Some of you aren't following your intuition. The high priestess in reverse. Some of you aren't using your full potential yet. Oh, last reading, remember, we had the caterpillar. Doesn't that look like a cocoon? Doesn't that look like a cocoon? The high priestess in reverse talks about not using your full potential because you haven't um, evolved into the butterfly yet, Virgo. You have, the question mark means that, you, like, it's still up in the air. You have no idea what's coming because you have no idea what you're about to spread your wings and evolve into right now. But it's already lit. The match is already lit within you, right? And they're telling you, you're not using your full powers. The high priestess in reverse, you're not using your full powers. You're not using your full um, intuition. Your value isn't there yet, right? You, you value yourself, but now it's time to show it, to express it, to use it. The high priestess is the most valuable in the tarot deck. Some of you are carrying the crystal amethyst with you, for sure. It's going to be very helpful. Like, look at that. Some of you have it around your neck. Some of you have it as a stone. Some of you, there's something about lavender or lighting purple candles. There's a weird aroma, and I can't figure out what it is. Some of you are manifesting a new home and it's going to come true. Some of you are manifesting a new vehicle, and it's going to come true. Some of you are manifesting contracts or someone to look at your writing or your art, and it's going to come true, my lovelies. Oh my gosh, I have the chills so bad. If you're new here, when I get the chills, it's confirmation from my angels that yes, some of you are manifesting an amazing lover, and that's coming as well. That looks like the four of wands to me. Four of wands means marriage, all right? It's lit, Virgos. It's lit. The candle, the lantern, the light at the end of the tunnel. You see it. You have a grasp on it. And it's lit. Something that you weren't able to reach. You didn't reach the end of the tunnel to your potential in last lives. The high priestess in reverse. The seven of swords. It was... It, there wasn't enough time is what I feel. The Seven of Swords is that self-deception, deceit, robbed. Some of you feel like you were robbed of time. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Didn't I say y'all were still fighting for three things? Five of Wands, right? And then the Seven of Cups. Y'all were able to accomplish four things, but there's still three things very important to you that you want to accomplish in this life. Three goals, three milestones, three dreams, three aspirations. Seven of swords. He's holding one, two, three, four, five obstacles and struggles. But look at there's three tents, three doors to open still. Three things that you've been fighting for. Three dreams. I don't think that you were given enough time in past lives to do so. The Seven of Swords means robbed also. Or you realizing that there's still more that you want, right? That you shouldn't self-sabotage or cut yourself short. And with the chariot here. Forward movement. Moving towards positivity. A positive mindset, mindset, mind frame. Building, building blocks to make sure that you're getting there. 
in a very big way, Virgo. Cancer season. This is chariot. It's cancer energy. Cancer season, which we're going into, what, tomorrow? Is going to be a game changer. Leaving that smoke and that dust behind and chugging along. Red means protection. There's something that y'all can smell. Like, there's, so, I don't know if someone is like, I don't know. I don't know, but that looks like a nose to me right there. I feel strongly like some of you can smell a different aroma or some of you can just simply sense there's a different energy in the air, my lovelies. The air smells cleaner going into cancer season for some reason or you can feel the fresh of breath air overwhelming you or something like that. But this is forward movement and this is positivity, going into positivity. Okay, in the mutual energy, my lovelies, you have art. Art is temperance. Sagittarius energy. I just heard it's going to be a good year. The remainder is going to be a good year. Oh my gosh, that's what I just heard and I have the chills so bad. There's that purple again. What does lavender mean in spirituality? I know it means like relaxation, right? There's something very significant about purple. Look at purple. 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 Cloaked in purple. A dull purple. Purple everywhere. Purple everywhere. Someone tell me what purple means. I think it means royalty. And for some of y'all, maybe you are going into a very grand time in your life, a very prosperous time. Purple, even right here, purple. This is temperance, but it says art. Did I not? I, I always tell y'all, Virgos, you are here to change the world through your talents, through your writing through your art, whatever it is. Art can be anything, acting, dancing, singing, um, writing. I, I, don't, I don't know why I want to keep saying sculpting, like body sculpting maybe or working out or something. There's something very, whatever your art is, that's how you're here to change the world. Temperance is peace, it's serenity, it's calmness, it's serene. It's just simply, you know, when you just get in that state of relaxation, that is temperance. Whether you're out and about, whether you're at home, whatever it is, it's temperance. And that's what's coming in. And I feel like things that didn't happen for you in a past life is happening for you in this one, Virgos. Something you've never given up on and something that you're very motivated to continue to work on. You're going to pull your foot out of that water. Oh, I just heard that song, Unfortunately, by Mozzie. That's like rap. That's rap. I know y'all don't like rap, some of y'all, but um, it says, I was just trying to get my feet wet and then that water rose knee deep. A lot of you have overcome so many obstacles, but you're finally coming out and stepping out onto the surface. <gasps> Some of you are definitely coming up and coming out onto the surface. Now, let me show you the King of Cups and the Sun in Reverse. You have no idea what's coming, Virgo. The King of Cups, it's like, it's like being ultimately emotionally fulfilled. Look at the peacock feathers. Doesn't that mean luck? There's going to be a lot of eyes on you too or a lot of recognition or a lot of new little things that are going to equal a massive abundance, royalty. Cheersing. Hey, I've made it. I'm here. I've arrived. I've stepped onto the surface. The sun in reverse. Sometimes it means unhappy. But it also means things being in the shadows, things being hidden, things that have not come to light. I just heard generational wealth. Holy smokes. 
generational wealth. And for those of you that follow my Instagram, if you don't, um, my Instagram is below. Follow me because I post a whole lot of astrological, astrological events that are occurring day by day. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you know that I said a couple, maybe a week or two ago, that it was all about, it was for the Sagittarius moon. It was about clearing ancestral curses. And now it's time for generational wealth. You don't see that. You don't see everything that you've cleared because the sun hasn't shown up on it yet. You only see the 3D. You don't know what's going on in the spiritual realm. But everyone, your ancestral line, your lineage is looking at you like, you did it. I keep hearing that song by Kevin Rudolph, that one, I made it, I made it, you know? I used to dream about the life I'm living now. I know that there's no doubt I made it. Oh my God, someone look up the lyrics if you guys want to hear that song, but I, I promise you it resonates. You had to crawl. Look at the knee. Look at the knees. Look at the knees. The the knee braces. The knee pads. You had to crawl through the mud. And now you're sitting on your throne. Royalty. Eyes on you. Luck. Emotional fulfillment. Cheers. And you don't see it. But your future generations are going to be so very happy. Even when you're not around, Virgo. Even when you're no longer around, you're still going to be raining abundance and shining on your future generations. Look at that. Look at those little cubs. It's really standing out to me because of the blue eyes. But over here, remember I said there's an angel or a relative or a spirit animal and I have the chills so freaking bad. And what stood out to me was the blue eyes. This is definitely clearing ancestral curses, ancestral traumas. I'm going to do a podcast episode about generational curses so you guys can get a little bit more gist on that. So keep an eye out for that. I'll post it. And the link to my podcast is in the description below. I feel so, like, happy. Some of y'all are crying because I'm about to, like, my eyes are getting teary, but I don't feel the sensation to cry. So I feel like some of y'all might be crying. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Remember I said some of y'all know your manifestation ways. You know it's already coming. That hand is closed. That hand is open. That hand is closed. And that hand is open with a cup. I made it. You already claimed it, Virgo. <gasps> look at my chills, loves. You've already claimed it. You've already manifested it. They've already heard you in the heavens. Your, <laughs> your lineage is cleared. It's already yours, Virgo. You have to trust and have faith and take that leap of faith. But it's already yours. Didn't I say something that didn't happen in a past lifetime will occur in this lifetime? Oh my goodness, this is so freaking nuts. And let me tell you why I know I have the chills so bad from head to toe. I wish I could show you <laughs> like how I feel. I feel super jumpy. I never show my face because I'm sure I make the ugliest faces. <laughs> Over here underneath the bottom of the deck. What you don't see coming, what you don't expect. The Ten of Cups. Ultimate emotional fulfillment. Oh my goodness. The heavens, didn't I say the heavens have already heard your wishes. They've already heard your manifestations. There's that purple again. You've gone through layers. There's levels, right? How do you say it in Spanish? Hay niveles, right? There's levels. You've gone through the levels, the pain, the luck, the heartache, the sadness, the, the, the prosperity, things. You've gone through the levels. Now it's time for royalty. Someone tell me what that purple means. Purple is definitely significant. The heavens have heard you. And your ancestral lineage and the generations after you are going to thank you. And you're going to rain sunshine and drip gold even when you're no longer here, Virgo. You're setting people up. I keep hearing generational wealth. Ten of cups means wish fulfillment. It means um, happy family. It means emotional contentment and fulfillment and prosperity. Didn't I say someone, some of you might have been a witch or have very much so powers in your past life. One of your, one of your 
either children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, someone is going to have the same powers as you. Didn't I say that? Look it. Why would they have a witch hat? <laughs> Didn't I say the high priestess is sometimes a witch or has energetic powers? You're setting your, your, your generations up, your future generations up, but someone later down the line is going to have the very same gifts as you, Virgo. Or perhaps that is you. Perhaps that is you. <laughs> Look at the purple sky, Virgos. What does purple sky mean? What does purple rain mean? I've never seen that, but I hear it often. I don't know if it's a song or a movie. What does that mean and what is it about? Someone tell me in the comments, please. If not, I'll look it up later. But this is happiness. This is everything. This is emotional fulfillment, lovelies. Some, this is also completion. Tens are completion. For some of you that couldn't get it right and do it all in all these lifetimes, you've reached the finish line. You've reached your goal. It's going to happen. Underneath that, the two of discs in reverse. No more juggling. No more imbalance. No more of something being left out, but still being thought about. Doesn't that look like the card from the last reading? Someone said the red fate or something, the red ribbon of fate or something, the red line of fate. It's fate balancing out. And that's what this year, it's a year number six. That's what it's about. Your dreams come true. Your manifestations come true. Your love life is prosperous. And you're at the finish line, Virgo. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we got going on. If this message is resonating, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, 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 greatly appreciate it. I love y'all so much. And I cannot thank y'all that have stuck with me on this journey. Loves. I've been on YouTube for two years. But I've only been posting for me for less than two years, right? And y'all know I don't post consistently. Um, I go sometimes weeks without posting. Sometimes I'll go days without posting. Sometimes I'll post three, four, five in a day. The channel, although I'm only at 20,000, 20.8 thousand subscribers, the channel has hit 2 million views in less than two years of inconsistent posting. So, yay, I'm so excited. I thank y'all so much and I appreciate you listening to me babble and continuing to be a part of my soul tribe. Um, and I love you all so very much and my angels adore you. And I hope that I am here to help you get a little bit of clarity on your journey because sometimes I know I need my own clarity as well. So my lovelies, I appreciate you. I thank you. And I'm going to give back to my supporters very, very soon. Um, maybe I'll do a giveaway or maybe I'll keep up personal readings for a little bit longer. We'll see. Show me some wisdom of the night, wisdom of the house of the night tarot cards. <coughs> fragment huh that is crazy so let's see where's my book forgive me loves i'm like all over the place still i can't find oh there it is <laughs> let's see what fragment means like i said for me this is telling me that you've only seen a piece of the pie you're about to get it all. Didn't I say in a past life you didn't complete it? Look at what's coming around. A past life. Let me see. Fragment is number 15. And I opened it right there. So that's crazy. Sometimes it seems that life is split into so many parts. All of them separate and difficult to bring together. Didn't I say whatever you didn't complete in past lives, you're about to complete it. I'm going to read it to you. Family, friends, work, study, activities can seem unrelated to each other. My child, you are always whole, even if at times things feel separate and fragmented. This is only an illusion. Choosing this symbol reminds you that all the moving parts of your life are important. If the one you're asking about seems confusing, focus on the one that brings you clarity. Be here now and know that I love you and see you as beautiful and whole regardless of how disconnected things seem. Also, remember to take a step back when you're trying to understand something. You may be looking at only one piece of a giant puzzle, a fragment of the truth. See the big picture through my eyes, and no matter what, all is always well. Oh, I got the chills, Virgo. 
underneath the deck reminder don't forget i have the chills so freaking bad don't forget reminder to me loves this is your reminder like things are always possible your dreams are always obtainable right you guys are master manifestors but also like i said you're creating a generational wealth and for some reason your your later generations to come will never forget you there's something about you about you completing things clearing things opening roads for them that you will never be forgotten i'm seeing that coco movie oh my goodness Oh, I'm hearing that song. Remember me. Oh, my goodness. You are not going to be forgotten within your family line, my lovelies, okay? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That is what I have for you. I am sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity, and peace always surround you. I'm sorry this video ran so freaking long, but it was a great one. I love it. I hope it resonates. Please like and subscribe. Share. Hit that bell so you can be... Notified anytime and every time I post. I love you so much and I will talk to you soon.